Bonobos and Sexual Preference, a presentation for Bio 300 at Northern Arizona University. Hey everyone, my name is Amanda and today we're going to be learning about bonobos. Specifically, we'll be talking about bonobos and sexual prefer preference, meaning what biological sex bonobos like to mate with. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Amanda, what on earth is a bonobo? It sounds like some kind of weird plant or fruit or something like that. And that's a great question. This little guy right here, aw, it's okay, you can say aw. This little guy right here is a bonobo, or in scientific nomenclature, pan paniscus. We'll just hang him up right back here. Hope my parents don't mind that I'm, you know, redecorating my room again. Um, so bonobos are non-human primates that are really similar to chimpanzees. In fact, another name for the bonobo is the pygmy chimpanzee, but quite a few years ago that name began to fall out of style and bonobo was used more commonly. Regarding humans, bonobos share approximately 98.7% of their DNA, so in the big scheme of things we're actually pretty closely related. Whoa, that's so cool! Unlike other groups of primates, bonobos are generally led by females instead of males. This means that instead of having an alpha male leading the group, an alpha female is generally what's leading the group. This is especially interesting because bonobos have been shown to be less aggressive than other primate groups, like chimpanzees. Over the years, bonobos have gotten the reputation of having sex all of the time. Now I know what you're thinking once again. Are we gonna be talking about <laughs> sex? <laughs> really it's really not that funny it's a serious topic in all serious no that is what we're going to be talking about today though not in the way that you're probably thinking i'm not going to go into the nitty gritty of how bonobos get all funky with one another that's what you get when you take a biological anthropology class where you get to learn about all about bonobo sex in very explicit detail. Wow, I've had a lot of really weird lectures in college. Anyway, instead of discussing sexual intercourse of bonobos, we'll be discussing sexual preference, meaning how bonobos choose who they want to mate with. So when you think about humans, sexual desires aren't something that magically appear whenever you're born. They eventually develop at puberty, which generally occurs between 10 to 14, but can occur before or after that. And after hearing mentions of the topic through family, friends, social media, and other popular media outlets. Bonobos are pretty different though. So while sexual intercourse isn't on the mind of a baby bonobo, sociosexual contact is. Okay, but what in the world is social sexual contact? These big words are really hurting my brain and I just don't know what to do about it. Great question, confused Amanda. Social sexual contact, in essence, is bonding between two organisms through sexual contact. The purpose of this contact isn't to make a baby, but rather to bond one another and relieve any tension within the group. So the interesting thing about bonobos is that this type of contact begins at a really young age, even without the presence of adults kind of showing them how it's done. So in a study conducted in 2011, researchers studied wild bonobos between the ages of two and four who are living in a wildlife sanctuary. Given their young age when they were rescued from the wild, which was at least six months prior to the beginning of the study, and their likely traumatic experience from when they were those little infants in the wild, they didn't have any influence from adults on how to act. Even so, before, during, and after feeding times in the study, these young bonobos were going at it in three different positions. So this is important because this isn't really common in other primate species, so we don't really see this, especially in chimpanzees who were also looked at in this study, the same age, two to four, and are actually really closely related to bonobos. Well, I mean, I guess that's kind of cool, but what does that have to do with sexual preference? I was just getting to that if you'd let me talk. So in this same study, it was found that young bonobos did actually have a preference in who they did the do with. So biologically male bonobos were doing it with the biologically female bonobos, but also females were doing it with each other and the males were doing it with each other. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. 
Did you just say that bonobos of the same sex were, you know, going at it with each other? How does that even work? Well, like I said earlier, I'm not gonna go into the nitty gritty of how it all works, but yeah, bonobos of the same biological sex were going at it, as you say, and this is actually pretty common among primates, just more so with bonobos. Basically how this works with primates is that a lot of touching of the genital regions occurs. Remember, bonobos don't always want to make babies and increase their population size when they're doing this. Sometimes they just want that bonding experience with each other or to relieve the tension because there's issues going on in the group. One thing that is extremely interesting about bonobos in particular is that, unlike other primates, there isn't that much sexual competition among them. This is likely due to females being more con in control of the fission and fusion groups rather than males having that control. So the females are the bosses of the group? That's pretty great. Girl power! Yeah, it is. Everyone in a bonobo group loves associating with the females. Females are more commonly in line with the other females and tend to have more sexual encounters among themselves rather than with the males. Males are also more commonly aligned with the females, so they also tend to have more of those sexual encounters with females. But male-on-male -male sexual encounters do happen, they're just really not as common as female, female or male-female encounters. So, as interesting all this bonobo talk is, can we relate it to humans at all? I mean, that's who we are. And we do have humans who are in same-sex relationships and participate in same-sex sexual activities, don't we? Of course we have something to learn from our non-human primate cousins. I mean, we were related millions of years ago with a common ancestor. So there's factors such as sexual motivation and availability of mates. However, we need to remember that humans are complicated beings. Human sexuality has been complicated since the beginning of anatomically modern humans, as evidenced by various archaeological fields. What we need to remember is that we just need to accept all people for who they are, no matter how they identify themselves. Well, it looks like that's all the time that we have for today, but there are three important takeaway points I want you to remember. The first one is, bonobos are our super cute primate cousins. I mean, look at this face. How could you? It's just adorable and ignore the ink on my printer, but he's just the cutest thing ever. Number two, bonobos practice something called sociosexual contact. This means that sometimes bonobos, even the juvenile and young ones, practice sexual activity without the intent of reproducing. They do this in order to bond with each other, but sometimes it's also used to relieve tension within the group if tension is running really high. And finally, number three, Female male sexual activity is not the only sexual activity that bonobos practice. In fact, females sexually interacting with one another is a lot more common than males interacting with females. Male on male interactions do happen, but they're really not all that common. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you were able to learn something new about the wondrous animal that is the bonobo. I'd like to thank all of these references listed here for allowing me to gather information to educate the world as well as Dr. Adana Ramito for a wonderful few weeks in this class. Thanks for watching.